All right, moving on to Sony. Uh, as far as them, what am I expecting from them at CES? I expect Sony to be entering the OLED market, the OLED market with two TVs. I, as of this point, they've been trying to get into that market, but they have not been able to succeed because they've not been able to mass reduce the screens for them. So they're going to take screens from LG and use them on their screens. Uh, so I expect them to, like I said, come in the market with two TVs. Uh, no details on anything about the TV, what the size will be, but obviously typically anywhere from 50 to 70 inches or whatever. All right, so on with that, uh, SmartWatch 4. Now, they released a SmartWatch 3 a couple of years ago. So it's been a couple of years since we've seen a SmartWatch from them. So I expect that to be announced. Uh, I will expect it to also be running Android Wear 2.0, um, which I also expect in abundance at the show. Um, no other details about the watch, but from my personal taste, I expect it to have a heart rate sensor because the uh, SmartWatch 3 did not have one. And I also expect it to have a bigger battery as well uh, to possibly give you up to three to four days of battery life. The SmartWatch 3 gave you about two days of battery life. Also from Sony, um, two new smartphones as well. Um, both of those will feature the Snapdragon 820. Um, their phones are expected to be uh, 5.2 inch and 5.5 inch displays. Um, again, no other further details about those uh, smartphones as of yet, but those are well, that is what I'm expecting from Sony, as well as uh, Sony's usual products, you know, video cameras, um, what else, computers, laptops, and probably some regular uh, TVs as well. So 